Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 95. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm in my bedroom today filming because Devin is in the living room playing guitar. You might be able to hear it a little bit in the background. And Jesse's also in there watching uh, YouTube videos on TV. And we've been gone all day doing stuff, so this is the only chance I get to film. And it's night. It's there. It's almost 7.30 at night. And we just got home and I needed to film real fast, so I'm doing it in here. I look a little disheveled <laughs> because, like I said, we've been out pretty much all day on and off. Um, and we just got home, so... I thought I'd film. But I got some finished objects to share today, some whips and some, a few bags from the shop and a new pattern that I made and a new pattern that I'm working on. <laughs> got just a few things to share with you guys today. So uh, let's hop into it. My first finished object that I want to share with you is another bandana cowl. I'm making these like crazy. I really love them. Um, so this is the Wide Neck Bandana Cowl by Bag of Day Crochet. It is a free video tutorial on her YouTube, which will be linked in the description box. I've made um, four, I think, already. And this, so this is the fifth one. It is done. I just haven't woven the ends. I, met, I finished this at my in-law's house. We went over there to have dinner with them. And, um... I started working on it right before we left here. I had like a little tiny little baby shawl <laughs> and uh, now it's done because it's a, such, such a quick pattern. I used the rest of the cake from an uh, ear warmer that I also made. Um, I'm going to show you. I should have showed you that first. But uh, the ear warmer took some of the cake and then this used the rest of it. And I thought about making the cow part bigger but I didn't. Uh, I don't know if I will. I still have one cake. But it's Red Heart Row with it tweed and it's the colorway is, what is the colorway? Neon. I got it because it looked like the 90s colors. And uh, it's 100% acrylic and there's almost 300 yards. 296 in the um, cake. <laughs> I completely forgot what I was saying. But there are some ends that I need to weave in. But here's the cowl. <laughs> I love this cowl pattern. Uh, I did make this thing much bigger because, you know, when it's cold you want your neck snuggled up. This is crazy colors, but I love this. This, this is a little blah. blah. Let me concentrate. <laughs> this is something that I love. Crazy colors and bright colors. And uh, especially the pink. And on the cowl I'll show you there's a blue green part that I really love. I'd love to have an entire cake or just mix two different colors together. Make my own cake of the blue green and this pink and black section separately. I'm not a huge fan of this brown and I mean uh, blue and orange part. But it still it all goes together pretty. I like it a lot. So maybe another cowl or cowl neck bandana thing. <laughs> But you can, you know, you can move this thing. If you wanted the cow part a little bit longer, you could change the way your cow was laying. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm wearing this. But yeah, I think this will look good with like a black uh, jacket, which I have. So, uh, and it'll go good with my ear warmer, which I'm about to show you. But like I said, this is a free pattern by Bag of Day Crochet here on YouTube. Super quick and easy pattern. I do alter mine a little bit to make the cow part. <clears throat> Closer to the neck because it is a wide neck one and I don't like it being really far down. I don't like it being closer to my neck. So I do, and I've mentioned that in a bunch of different videos on how I do that. But if you haven't seen one of those videos and you're interested, um, you can leave a comment and I'll try to explain it right now. But basically what I do is I do the granny square portion and then on the part before you make it a circle where you're supposed to single crochet across the top of it, 80 something stitches. I only do 60 something by skipping a few of them. And I think she has you put two in each. And instead of putting two, I just put one in some of them to get it down to 60 something. I think 64. And then I uh, continue the rest of the cowl that way. So that it's just closer to um, my neck instead of really far out. But yeah, so that's my cowl. I just got a couple ends to weave in. And then I'll go ahead and go to the head air warmer since it was made with the same yarn. And I do have a ponytail on, so I might not be able to wear it. But this was called the Knotted Puff Ear Warmer. It's on Ravelry. It's a free pattern. And it's linked below. But, um, and I made it a little bit different. I did alter this. I'll, I'll alter everything. Um, and I'll explain that in just a second. But here it is. I got a ponytail on, so I can't really. Let me take my ponytail down. My hair will look weird, but that's okay. My hair's been up all day, so it's going to have a crease in it. But it's like a turban style ear warmer. And it is, it's got like a brim. Um, ribbed brim <laughs> and on the actual the pattern you don't include it in the cinching but I went ahead and did it anyways I thought it would be cute and um, 
I did accidentally mess up the first two rows of puff stitches. I forgot to do the, after you do a puff stitch, you know you're supposed to chain one to like secure it. I forgot to do that. So these puff stitches are closer together and tighter than the second section of puff stitches. But I actually like that because it makes it tighter on my head. So it turned out good. But this is the same yarn, uh, the row with a tweed. Neon. <laughs> and uh, I love this. The lighting in here is bad because it's just the bedroom, but... This is a blue-green section, and this, these are the two I like <laughs> the most. But I think it turned out really cute, and I'll definitely wear it. It's bright, and it'll go with my cowl. So I got a cute little set uh, to wear when it's colder. But yeah, I already said that was about right. Yeah. Okay, same here. And then my last finished objects, I got two of them, is a pattern that I wrote. And it is a snow globe. And, you know, everybody's making those um, snow globe ornaments that are flat. And I made some the last video I think I shared <laughs> the Christmas ornaments and um I got the idea I was wondering if anyone made an amigurumi one so I looked I looked it up a little bit on all the pattern sites and on google to see if um if anyone had made an amigurumi snow globe and I I couldn't find anything so I don't know you know someone might have but they haven't shared it or whatever at least where I looked so I quickly uh whipped up a pattern and it's super simple um there's only it's made in two parts here it is. <laughs> if you're in the Facebook group, you've already seen it. So you start with the blue or whatever color you want your water part of the snow globe to be. You work down, change the red, and then you fasten off down here. And then you make a disc for the bottom. And there is cardboard in here to make it sturdy and set flat. And then it's just stuffed. And the idea is you can put buttons just like the ornaments on here or crochet appliques and so on there just to make a little snow globe. A 3D one with uh, little images all around it. I need two. Because <laughs> I made one writing the pattern and then I had to make another one to take photos for the pattern. So uh, I haven't decorated them yet. Uh, I still need to do that. But I'm a procrastinator. So, But it is written and it is available as a free PDF download on the Facebook group. And I know a lot, not everybody does Facebook. But right now that's the easiest uh, method for me to use. Until hopefully next year I'm going to work on getting a website uh, up and running. For no catchy name and then I can offer all the patterns that I start writing for free and also have a shop on there hopefully <laughs> on there though because um, I don't really want to do a patreon because I don't think I have enough content to necessitate a patreon because uh, I feel like if I did a patreon account I would need to offer people more stuff I don't want people just giving me money I want to offer them stuff you know free patterns and stuff so I need to like hoard up a bunch of patterns. So I want to offer free patterns on my website when I get it up and going. And then also I have a shop section for my bags and patterns that I sell. That's not really long. <laughs> but it is on the Facebook group, <laughs> which will be linked below. If you want to join it, um, you know, just hit the join button. I do check out the profiles before I accept them. I've had a few spam accounts try to join the group. And I've had some accounts. I didn't know if they were spam or not. Because if I look on your profile page and there's nothing on it at all, uh, it makes me think you might be a spam account. If you are brand new to Facebook and you make an account just to join the group, just shoot me a message if you can or an email and let me know so that I know that you're a real person and not a spammer or something like that. But anyways, it's in the file section. This pattern is there now and the Grinch boot cuffs that I wrote and I'm planning on revising that soon, probably over Christmas break when Devin's off work and can help me more with Jesse. Um, maybe over Thanksgiving weekend. I don't know. As soon as I can, I'm going to revise that a little bit, tweak it. And the same goes for this. I might do that eventually if it needs anything, any tweaking. But, uh, yeah, so it's just a free. It's really quick. I made both of these really fast. Um, like I said, it's just two pieces. Minimal sewing. I just whip stitch the bottom on. There's a cardboard thing, or you could use plastic canvas or anything like that. And stuffing. And then that's it. And then you can decorate it with appliques and buttons or ribbons or bells or, you know, whatever you want to decorate with. But I thought it was a cute idea. Kind of looks like crystal balls, but uh, they're meant to be snow globes. Now onto the whips. I have two active whips. Technically three, because one is a pattern that I'm writing, which I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek of. But there's two uh, actual active whips <laughs> that you guys have been seeing grow a little bit. So I'll first talk about my Frosty. This is a crochet along that I'm participating in that's hosted by the designer, which is Mary Smith. She has a Facebook group called Made by Mary Cal, C-A-L. And every month, usually every month, they host uh, cows of her patterns. And this month it is Frosty. Last week you guys seen it and it was, I think it just his legs and his arms. <laughs> so this week the um, the cow section was the body. So I did finish his whole body. He's so cute. Look at his belly. He had a big old fat belly. <laughs> and it's, it's got shaping. 
increases to make it a big fat belly. I think that's so cute. <laughs> Now, she does have safety eyes. I don't have big enough safety eyes. I need to buy some big safety eyes. But I'm planning on making some uh, just crochet ones. And I'm going to embroider like little twinkles in his eye. So, uh, I got his whole body done. I think it's so cute. And it's huge. I love her patterns because they're so big. I didn't put a dowel in him because he's going to be for decoration. And Jesse's finally getting old enough to where he's not really messing with <laughs> everything so bad. But um, I do want to find some like PVC pipe that is, I don't know, like an inch uh, in diameter to start buying, like buy a big one and then get a pipe cutter. We might have one to make their spines bigger than dowels because dowels do tend to pop through the stitches, <laughs> which is fine if it's just for decoration. But if you're giving it to like a kid or something, you want to have a sturdy neck. So I want to do kind of like the proper pineapple does with her doll patterns that she has got these like pipe things. That's her spine. I want to start making or buying some of those and cutting them for my amigurumis like this to put, you know, from like the middle of their head down to their stomach somewhere just to give them really good stability so that their head is not floppy. And if this does get moved around a lot and played with, his head will start flopping because the stuffing will get, you know, disheveled and um, everything will move everywhere. But this is a paid for pattern and I think it's called Frosted Snowman by Mary Smith and she has a Ravelry shop and an Etsy shop. I don't know if she has a actual website or not. But, um, I got a lot of her patterns and a lot of them I got for, for free from her crochet alongs because at the end of the crochet along everyone who finished the item gets a free pattern so next week when you see him he will have his hat and his face right yeah his face facial features and his hat and then the last week the week of Thanksgiving well, or the last week of November the week through St. Thanksgiving into the first week of December right yeah Something like that. It's his vest. He has a little vest and a candy cane that's like a cane. <laughs> it's a candy cane cane. And I think that's everything. So he'll be done the first week of December. He has a fuzz on him. I just love his little belly. <laughs> and uh, this is a super easy pattern. I love her patterns. So check them out if you would like big amigurumi for decorations. My last whip that you've seen before is my Christmas tree skirt. I did put a little bit on there. And I do. I will link below where... We found it. Me and a viewer named Rita, um, she did some digging and found the pattern for me. And I will link it below. It's a forum post and you have to scroll down a little bit to find a woman named Lisa who posted it. And she's the one who wrote it. But we can't find any other details on her. So it is, um, it's really similar to Bag of Day's Christmas tree skirt, but it's started differently. But you know, if you, if you don't care about the lacy bit, which is not a big deal because It'll be, that's the part that's under your tree. You can't really see it. But uh, it's just a basic 12 point star. A lot of people have similar patterns, so you can just search it and find it. Anyways, long story short, let me find my stitch marker because I did remember to put a uh, progress marker. Where are you? It's a, oh, there it is. Last time you saw it, it was at this white row right here. And now I've added a white row and the three red. I think I'm still on the red. Yeah, I'm still working on the red. So it is getting pretty big. Let me try to hold it up. It's getting there. I don't think it's going to be done before this Christmas, though. I think it's going to be next Christmas. <laughs> but uh, I am working on it. I got all the stuff to make it. I just got to have the time. And obviously, the more rows I do, the longer the rows get. So it takes more time. This is a project I work on when I'm watching other YouTubers' videos. Or like after I edit my video and I'm waiting for it to process before I upload it or while I'm waiting for it to upload. <laughs> I will work on this because it's just double crochets uh, pretty much over and over and over again. So it's really mindless and I can watch it or do it while watching TV and stuff. So it'll get done hopefully uh, this year but it's probably going to be closer to next year. But when I get it finished I might try to enter into my county fair next year. So woo. It's just Red Heart Super Saver White Spring Green and Cherry Red. And the snowman, I forgot to say that, <laughs> is um, Karen One Pound White. Let me get this back in my bag. Okay, that's all my whips. I did want to show you a little sneak peek of the next pattern I'm writing. I really want to try to get it done this week. It looks a little, it looks a little awkward. <laughs> um, it's a Christmas pattern, or Christmas amigurumi. And so far, all I have is his feet. <laughs> Looks a little weird. <laughs> but these are feet. That's all I got so far. And it's in uh, Red Heart Super Saver. 
I forgot what this color is called. It's not evergreen. It's, it's a dark green color. That's a sneak peek of my next evergreen pattern. I need to get it done because me and Amber was going to do a crochet long for Christmas, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to get that done before um, time to do that. So I'll talk about my, my finished objects talk about my whips. Okay. Next thing I want to mention is uh, today, today is Sunday, mm, the 17th of November. <laughs> um, I went to a craft fair show thing <laughs> that's local to us. It's called Santa's Workshop. And this year I think was the 42nd year or 43rd year that they've been doing it. It's like a huge thing. We've never been to it before. We've always planned to go and then we never actually went. But this year I went because someone I know through YouTube that I met through uh, my channel and then she started her own channel um, was there with a booth and her name is Kim and I will link her channel below. It is Kim Kim Crafty's Cr Corner. Kim Crafty's Corner. <laughs> All case. But I will link it below so you don't have to worry about trying to find it. It'll be linked below. She makes some awesome um uh, Awesome ones. She makes a lot of them to sell for craft fairs and stuff and just the cutest monsters and she makes the dinosaurs, the Timothy, Timothy the turtle, the little, I can't talk, <laughs> just all kinds of cute things. And she also makes um, tumblers. I don't know how they make them. Uh, this has something to do with like spinning it and painting it. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I've seen people doing it. But she also had some of those today. And so I bought one. <laughs> really cute green one. And I love blues and greens. And this is greens and blues. These are bluey colors right here. It's not really coming out that good on the camera. But in real life it's blue. And this is just like a regular tumbler. I don't, I don't know what they're called. I'm not going to use it for coffee. I'm going to use it for hot chocolate <laughs> and probably water. But it's just a tumbler. She has the care instructions in there and also on the card. Sorry about this card, yeah. It's got the care instructions and all her information. I'm not going to show you the business card because I don't know if she wants her phone number out there. But if you are interested in this kind of cup, she makes them. Or she doesn't make them because she paints them. <laughs> um... So if you, you could probably contact her through her channel if you're interested in buying one. Maybe she could ship them. I'm not sure. But she makes some awesome amigurumis. Um, she hasn't made a video recently in the last month, I think, because she has some illnesses that she's been dealing with. But she is planning on making more videos. And I would definitely check her out because she does really good on her craft fairs. And she had a really nice display today. And she'll probably share information about the, um, the setup and all that. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, like if you've got uh, craft fairs coming up, you might want to um, go, you know, check her out so you can get some ideas. And she makes a lot of amigurumis and sells them so she can give you pointers for what patterns are really popular. So, check her out. <laughs> if I can think about it, I'll pop up a picture. We took a picture together while we were there. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about um, today is some bags. I do still have some bags in the shop and I actually added some today. Some of them is already sold, but there's still three that I added today that's still in there and I wanted to share them just so you guys can see them. I did only post it on the Facebook group and I think Instagram. I didn't make a video today because I was so busy. Um, but the bags I put in the shop today, they're just bags. They don't have notion pouches just because I didn't have the time, really. I'm super busy right now. But there is a Peanuts. It's got, um, oh my god, Charlie and his uh, sister and Snoopy. I don't think Woodstock's on there. No, but they're, they're drinking hot chocolate. And look, hers has got all the marshmallows. <laughs> but and, and the inside is just like a red and white star shape. <laughs> That's in there. And then there's two of these ones. This is Nightmare for Christmas, Christmas print. So it's got Jack as a Santa and it's got Santa present and it's got the bag of toys and it's got the creepy toys sticking out of it. I think that everything's on here and then a cute background print and they're like ornaments on it. It's just cute. And it's also got the same inside. I had a big piece of that red and white so I was using it. But there are two of those in the shop. And then there are two sets like this left that do have notion pouches. Really pretty Christmas print with snowflakes and trees and presents. This one's got Holly <laughs> on the inside. I don't know if the other one has Holly. Let's see here. No, it's different. It's got Holly, but it's a different Holly <laughs> print. And then the last set that's in the shop is like a patchworky type thing. It's got um, different Christmassy colors and it's got the Holly in it too. And the last three that I showed you do have notion pouches with them. If you're interested, these would make great project bags for yourself or gifts for other crafters you know they would even make good gift bags 
uh, for presents. You know, you can stick a present in there and cinch it up and give it to someone for Christmas. Whatever, what have you. It's in my Etsy shop now and it's linked below if you're interested. And also my two Christmas patterns, the, um, the elf bag, which comes with a boy and a girl version, so you can make it girly or masculine, whatever. <laughs> um, and, you know, you can easily change the skin tones or the, the, is there hair? I didn't make hair. But the skin tone for any skin tone or in the eye color, you know, if you wanted, instead of using black and white, you could use color or whatever. And then the snowman. Those two patterns are 15% off now until the end of November or to the beginning of December, I should say. But yeah, I think that's everything I want to talk about today. I need to get this video up because it's already, it's almost 8 o'clock now. And I will see you guys in the next video, which I have a few video ideas coming out soon, but it is also the holiday season, so I can't guarantee. I do plan on doing Vlogmas this year, but it may be, it won't be every day, like usual. I never do everyday vlogging, but I will try my hardest. And um, there'll probably be a vlog Thanksgiving weekend because we'll be doing some Christmas stuff that weekend uh, after Thanksgiving. But yeah, I'm going to hop off here and get this video up for you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.